trying to wake up here let's get this thing going shall we ladies and gentlemen it's time for all of you here with DJ again Oh, yeah. It's your boy DJ Wolf in the house here. DJ Wolf Live, guys. Um, I got a couple things I want to talk about right quick. One was the Eminem Cypher on BET, the BET Awards. And this thing went worldwide viral behind that. Now, granted, Eminem is an extremely skilled rapper. I don't care what anybody say. This white boy got mad skills. He got skills of 10 rappers I've heard that could not fuck with Eminem. I don't give a goddamn what anybody say. Real talk, man. Eminem will roast you and roast you again (laughs) until you're done. Real talk. Here's my thing. Eminem waited for the right moment to strike at Trump so he could release his new album. Now, I'm not saying he's an opportunist because he is. Well, I guess I am saying that. But then again, you got 20, 50 other rappers do the same thing. You know? But I think sometimes I think we're being a little bit selective on who we want to get mad at. You know, to me, the message was more important than anything else. Doesn't matter who telling it, white, black, pink, or blue. But then you got people complaining about, where's the other black rapper who who said the same thing? Well, you ain't saying it enough. You know, I say it's not being said. But Eminem is not known for being a very flashy rapper either. Unlike a lot of these other rappers I see. You know, at least you can understand what the hell he's saying compared to about a thousand other rappers I hear all the time. There's always the, eh, 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 eh. or like, hey, hey, hey. You know what the hell they saying? You really don't. How am I supposed to understand the message you, you try to convey if you don't say it where anybody can understand what the fuck you're saying? Real talk. So, but. That mess and uh, Harvey Harvey Weinstein, that's another whole story. I, um, somebody told me they said they felt sorry for Harvey Weinstein. I was like, for what? He was a multi-billionaire. He didn't have shit. He, he, he could buy your house and my house and the whole block 20 times over. It'd be 100 times over. Who knows? This dude was a master film executive for three decades. And he let the best of his uh, wealth and power get the best of them. You know, it goes shows that a fool and his money will soon part their ways. And so will the power. You know, and right now, and he's a major hot water man. People from everywhere just all of a sudden said they, they're trying to sue him. Including the, well, well, there was one story that came up with Terry Crews a couple of days ago. What the fuck is up with Terry Crews? Terry Crews had nerve to be talking about. Some executive came up to him and his wife at a party, and the guy grabbed him his balls. In front of him and his wife. Now, somebody said they called bullshit, or they said it might have been a made-up story. But then again, Terry Crews do a lot of gay shit on camera. That's a known fact. <laughs> he do a lot of suspect shit on camera. And a lot of movies and TV shows, primarily, and commercials. He do a lot of fruity shit on questionable stuff on TV, man. So, to be honest, 
I totally wouldn't put it past his ass. That probably did happen. Problem is, why you wait so long to report it, knowing that he might fuck with somebody else, or put that person in a compromised position that he probably wouldn't attempt to do with you, other than grab your balls. That's what I don't understand. And then you let him do it in front of your wife, dude. If it been me, and he been bold enough to do this shit with me, might be some furniture moving up in that bitch. Real talk. So I, you know, I'm suspect. You know, I'm, 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 I'm. He's very suspect to me anyway. So who knows? He might just be doing it and giggling at the same time. Who knows? <laughs> just don't get it, man. The Hollywood is a, is a wild place. That's why they call it uh, the nickname for Hollywood is Holly Weird. So I ain't surprised by that. <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. Now Jerry Jones and several other uh, NFL owners are going back on the uh, stand down on the national anthem because uh, Roger Goodell NFL commissioner decide, well, we ain't going to play with that no more. You can't do that anymore. Really? Funny that there's certain things you can't do in this country or certain things you'll make people do against their will, but there's certain things you won't do to bring justice here. Hmm. Give that thought. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say right now. Questions or comments, um, of course, you can hit me off at forallthere at gmail.com, forallthere on Twitter, forallthere right here on YouTube, and DJ Wolf online at yahoo.com, and DJ Wolf live on Facebook. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got. Let me put on my new theme music for y'all. DJ's in the house, baby. DJ in the house. Live podcast this weekend. I'm out. <laughs>